Hi, everybody. Hello, welcome. Good morning. I've got the door open so I can hear the birds, which is lovely. Um, if it becomes distracting, I will close it. Hopefully, it is not distracting to you. Let's just get started. We'll find a comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall, find some length in the spine. Let's just arrive with a nice releasing breath, big inhale, big audible exhale. Allow yourself to arrive a little more fully onto your mat. Taking in the present moment. Feeling the connection of the legs to the earth. Noticing those points of connection all the way around the base of your body. You might even lean back a little bit to feel the sitting bones plug in. And then breathe a little more space between each vertebra. And let the shoulders roll back. Let's take a moment to just notice what's happening in your body, your heart, your mind. Notice the state of your nervous system. Don't critique it, judge it, or put a story to it. Just allow yourself to notice reviewing and scanning over the body or whatever is needing to show up in this moment. And then as it shows up, instead of gripping and analyzing and looking at it, for right now, let's just choose to move into our breath. Begin to welcome a nice full inhale deep into the belly. Let the belly expand. Slow, soft exhale. Belly melts back towards the spine. As you move through a few mindful breaths, allow the back teeth to release from each other. The lips might part a little, and you might feel the whole jaw surrender. Moving in deep to the belly, slow, soft exhale. And your next breath in, find even more length in the spine. And then the shoulders roll back just a bit. Allow the right ear to melt to the right shoulder. Nice big breath in, big breath out. Go ahead and take that left arm, reach it forward, and then reach it out to the side, maybe palm up or palm down, you can reach behind you. And just move that arm in any organic movement as the right ear melts more towards the right shoulder. Keep the spine nice and tall, make sure you're not leaning. And if you find a little spot that feels a little juicy, take a few pauses and breaths right there. You notice the jaw starts to grip, release it. Just choose to. You know, let's all guide that left hand to the low back, maybe all the way over to the right hip, and then mindfully choose to drop that shoulder down. Take one more breath there. From here, we're going to tuck the chin and look over towards the right elbow. Another full breath in, full breath out. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed down. And we inhale. As you exhale, pull the low belly in, let that lift the spine, let that lift the head back through center and release the arm. Let's take a nice cleansing breath together. And a big exhale. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, gently drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Taking another breath there, letting the head grow heavy, shoulders relaxed. And then we start to move that right arm, stretching it forward and out to the side. Moving around, palm up, palm down, moving from that shoulder any way that feels intuitive. And of course, pausing as you're ready. 
And then taking that right arm and sweeping it to the low back or even around to the left hip, and then dropping that shoulder down. Nice big breath in, big breath out. Tuck the chin, look over the left, towards the left elbow. Make sure shoulders are relaxed down. Take another good breath in, good breath out. And big inhale, expanding the belly. As you exhale, pull the belly in towards the spine. Start to lift the torso, let that lift the head, and then release the hand back to center. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Switch the cross of the legs. <clears throat> Opposite leg is on top or in front. Get yourself situated. Let's move through a little cat cow. Open the front body. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to round off the back body, pull the heart into the back wall. You might start by taking it slow and then going deeper. That feels right to you. You notice that I almost always start with spinal movements. Usually I hit all six directions of the spine. And that's because I believe our spine, our nervous system, is such an important part of our body that we need to warm up and connect with it. So always beginning with those six directions of the spine. And if you miss your yoga class, only giving yourself that movement will be a lovely gift to your day. Moving through another round or two. Let your next inhale take you to a neutral spine. Once you arrive, roll the shoulders up and back, melt them down. And stretch those arms out and up with a big breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll take the right arm down, left arm lifts up and over, ground down through the left hip. Let that bottom shoulder drop down, top shoulder rolls open as the ribs open up towards the ceiling. Maybe look past the elbow if that feels good for the neck. We're going to bend that top elbow, bring the elbow towards the back wall, opening up that shoulder and armpit. Be mindful as you make this movement. And then sweep the fingers up and over the head, over to the right. Create a length in that side body. You might look down towards your right hand. Inhale, bend the elbow, look past that elbow. And then reach the fingertips up and over. Uh, this time we'll pull up, lift and lengthen, and then release that arm down. Take a nice breath in and out. Right arm floats up. Big inhale. And as you exhale, reach up and over. Let the bottom shoulder drop down. Top shoulder rolls open. Ring to a little bit. Another breath. And we bend that elbow, reaching the elbow towards the back wall. Look towards the head. And then go ahead and reach the fingertips up and over the ear where you might look down towards your grounding hand, creating more length in the right. Do that again. Bend the elbow, look behind you towards that. That feels okay. And then reach up and over, creating that length. And the last one, I think we did three. I've already lost count. And then reach it up and over. Big breath in, stretch it to the sky, and then release with your exhale. Take a nice cleansing breath with me. Big inhale. Big exhale. Stretch the legs out in front. In a couple circles with the ankles. Wiggle the toes. Pull the flesh out from underneath, set up nice and tall. When you're done, Dasana, let's pull everything in and up. Find stability, find your center. Round down through the hands to find the length of the torso and then relax elbows and shoulders. Press energy out the heels. And then even press the big toe mound forward. Another breath. Begin to bend the left knee, bring it in as close as 
feels right to you right now. Sit up nice and tall. The right hand wraps around that knee. Left arm reaches up. And we open the heart to the sky and the hand drops down to the floor behind you. You don't have to go as deep as possible. Inhale, sit up tall. Bring some energy into that right heel. Exhale, open the heart. Start to look behind you. Keep shoulders relaxed down, jaw soft. Finding that spiral in the spine. And you can pay attention to what's happening on the inside. Notice where the spiral begins and where it ends. Notice your breath. Full inhale, and exhale. Big breath in as you breathe out. We unwind, coming back through center. And as you arrive, lengthen the spine, release that bent knee down. Sole the foot to the inner thigh or wherever it lands for you. And then take that straight leg out to the spine. Make sure your sitting bones are both grounded down. If you need something underneath the knee, if you find yourself falling into the knee and that right hip left the ground, <clears throat> put something underneath the knee, a little pillow or blanket over the spine. Ground down through the sitting bones, sit up nice and tall, flex that foot. Take the hands behind you, squeeze shoulder blades together, open the heart. Let's press down through fingertips to lift that heart up. Let the tailbone reach back, getting you into the hips and the thighs a little more. Either stay there or take the hands forward, slowly melting yourself in. So that means that every breath might drop you in a little bit deeper. Remembering that doesn't mean you physically move into the shape a little further. It might mean that you stay where you are and you soften. You feel the muscles start to release as you breathe. connected to the inner landscape, so watching sensations. And back to your breath. Releasing the facial muscles in the jaw. Press energy out that right heel. Find length in the torso, another breath. Begin to root your hands to the floor, low tummy pulls in as you start to press the earth away and lift yourself all the way up. Once you arrive, we'll take that right hand either to the leg or behind the leg is fine as well, whichever feels more comfortable in your body is okay with me. And then we'll take that left arm diagonally behind. You're going to sweep the left arm diagonally behind, reaching up towards the ceiling, and then again, we get into that side stretch. So reach up towards the ceiling, and then towards the ceiling above the toes, so your hand might slide down the leg. Try to get the shoulder out of the ear. Reach that top shoulder open, which means that you might be reaching up towards the ceiling. You might reach over. Depending on your body, you might reach all the way over. It depends. Just breathe. If you notice that your heart's facing the floor, then come up and out and open that shoulder. One more big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift up. As you exhale, take that hand to the floor behind you, diagonally behind you. Right arm lifts in the air and we scoop the hips forward, press down through the feet or the right foot and the shin. Open the hips, reach that right arm behind you. You might even move the arm around, opening up the chest and the shoulder. If it feels safe to move the neck, feel free. Another breath. And then very slowly and mindfully, we unwind, come back through center. Sit up nice and tall, ground down. Take a nice full breath in and out. Let's take the hands behind, switch the legs out. Give yourself support if you need it. Get yourself situated, flex that foot, toes point up. If you notice the toes are falling in or out, send them straight up towards the sky as best you can. Ground down through the sitting bones. Take hands behind you, squeeze shoulder blades together, open the heart. You might choose to stay there, you might hinge forward a little. Take it one little step at a time, one breath at a time, I like to say. Move through life, one breath at a time. Nice full inhales, 
slow or soft exhales. See what's happening for you in this moment. Open your jaw. Take a few breaths as you melt, soften muscles, release a bit. Brown down through the hands. Low tummy pulls in as we start to lift ourselves up. Roll your shoulders back, up and down. Let your left hand come to your knee or your thigh, right hand diagonally behind you. You're going to start to let that left hand slide down the leg as the right arm reaches up and towards the ceiling. Create that lace. Don't think about reaching over towards the toes, just reach up. Plug the right hip in, open up the right side of the body, drop that left shoulder. And then you might start to melt in a little more. The fingers might come up and over the toes. Just go to the point that feels right for you. Another big breath in, big breath out. Get that top shoulder rolling open. Don't let your heart melt towards the floor. Open it to the sky. And then inhale, lift yourself up. Take that hand to the floor diagonally behind you. And the left arm sweeps to the sky. Press the hips forward, root down through the left foot and the right shin. Open up the heart. Reach, wave the arm around if that feels good. Big inhale, big exhale. Really melt the right hip to the floor. When you come back through center, just ground down with a big breath in and a big breath out. Take the soles of the feet together. Knees nice and wide. Bring the soles of the feet in or the heels in rather as close as they'll go comfortable. And then <clears throat> let's take hands behind you so you get out of the low back. Legs to round here. We're going to press through the fingertips. The pelvis rolls forward. Knees start to surrender. Eyes open. Release, release. Big breath in and out. Just finding another good breath here. And the knees, gently pull those knees together. We'll take them nice and wide. We'll just find a little windshield wiper, move some of that around. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way around to tabletop. If you want to pad the knees with a blanket, feel free to. Um, if you have your block or pile of quilts, make sure it's at the top of the mat. We'll need it later, not on the mat, just off of the mat is fine. So we have space, but then at least they're accessible. When you come to your tabletop, we're going to find length in the torso, shoulders roll, look down through the pen. Then we're going to pull the right hip over closer to the right shoulder, create length in the left side body. You might even look back towards that right hip. Let the hip and shoulder come closer together, opening up the left side. And then come back through center and wag the tail over to the other side where we start to look back towards the left hip and the left shoulder opens towards the hip. And then come back through center. Round the spine, tuck the chin, cow or cat rather. Squeeze and lift. Inhale, open up the front body. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cap. Shoulders back, heart shines. One more, exhale, cap. Inhale, cow. And this time as you exhale around the spine, start to pull the hips back towards the heels. Let yourself settle in here. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out.
Inhale, lift, heart. Bring yourself up into your tabletop. I'll take the hands forward and we're gonna find some circles, moving the hips to the side, to the front, to the side, and to the back. So if the circles be big or small, maybe bend into the elbows a little bit if that feels right to you. Keep going, find another breath in, another breath out. Good. And then go in the opposite direction. And then pause with the shoulders over the wrists. Squeeze to the middle line, keep the low belly lifted. Bend the elbows very slightly towards your hips and lower down nice and slow. Once you arrive, lift one leg, pull it back, drop it back down. Lift the other leg, pull it back, drop it back down. Round down through the feet, the hips, and bring those elbows in. Baby cobra, heart lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. And this time we're gonna stretch the arms forward. Stretch it nice and long. Let the head rest down, forehead to the floor. I'm just not doing it because you won't be able to hear me. And then as you're ready, we're gonna inhale, right arm, left leg. The head may lift and then lower. Keep that core engaged. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Don't forget to breathe. Lower. Big inhale, just the arms. Exhale, lower. Big inhale, just the legs. Exhale, lower. Bring your hands by your chest, elbows in, curl the toes. We're gonna to press up either through plank or tabletop all the way to downward facing dog. Let the knees be nice and bent in your down dog. Relax your shoulders away from the ears, walk it out. See what's happening today in your body, your down dog, great way to check in. Inhale, start to lower the knees, bend the knees really slow. You need your glutes, inner thighs, lower down, back into your tabletop. Okay. Once you arrive in your tabletop, you're gonna extend that right leg behind you. Bend the knee, or lift the leg, and then bend the knee. So solar foots to the ceiling. I'm gonna find little pulses. Try to keep the hips square to the floor. So the tendency is to want to open up. We don't want to do that. We're gonna keep the hips square. Low tummy pulls in. Couple more pulses. Good. And then straighten that leg out. Low tummy in. We're gonna take the right knee towards the right elbow. Squeeze, try to tap it, and then press it back. Square those hips. Two more just like that. Knee to elbow, squeeze, try to tap it, and then send it back. Last one, squeeze, try to tap it, and then send it back, square off those hips. The right foot's gonna cross the midline, place the foot to your left on the floor. Lengthen out the spine, look up and over the left shoulder towards the toes. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, lengthen the torso, unwinding the upper body, and then lift that foot, bring it back through center. We're gonna bend that knee again, foot towards the ceiling, and then simply take the leg out to the side so the knee is in line with the hip. It's like a dog peeing pose. <laughs> really official technical name, one more breath and then gently release that knee down. Let's take the knees wide, toes together, press back, child's pose. Stretch it out, soften, melt, breathe. Roll your wrists if you need to. Oh yeah, I forgot my wrist guards today, so I won't be doing a lot of the vinyasas. My wrists are happy. Take a nice full breath in. And a full breath out. 
Awesome. Let's make our way back up to tabletop. We're going to extend that left leg behind you. Bend the knee so the foot's flat to the ceiling as though you're tap dancing on the ceiling, little pulses. Keep those hips square, low tummy pulls in. You got it, couple more. And then we straighten that leg. Left knee to left elbow. Squeeze, pull it in and up. Send it back. Again. Squeeze. And send it back. And last one. Try to tap. And send it back. Then we cross the midline. Left toes go to the floor to the right. Look over the right shoulder towards the toes. Take a nice full breath in, full breath out. Unwind the upper body. Lift the back leg, come back through center with that leg lifted. And then we're going to bend the knee again and take that knee over to the left. It's like dog peeing pose. <laughs> Keep that leg lifted, another breath. And then mindfully release it down. Let's take those knees wide again, hips back. Child's pose, maybe you roll the wrists a little bit. Maybe you let the palms face up and you melt. With the palms up is a great time to connect with what it is you'd like to bring in. What is it you'd like to manifest with this practice today? Nice full inhale, full exhale. Nice. Begin to ground down through your hands. Make your way up to tabletop. Or we'll extend one leg behind, the other leg behind for plank. Another breath, squeeze the middle line. And then hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walk it out in your dog. Take another breath. The short issues today. Good. Come forward into plank. Squeeze to the middle line, lower down. You can always lower knees first. Stretch the arms forward. Inhale, lift the head, lift the arms. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift the head, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, cactus arms, squeeze shoulder blades back and together. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down. Take a nice full breath in and a full breath out. Hands by your chest, press back, make your way into your down dog. Extend the left leg behind you, press through the hands, press energy out that left heel, hips are square. Step the left leg all the way forward, helping it forward if it needs it. Once you arrive, root down, stabilize the bottom half of the body and then float yourself up, high lunge. Nice full breath here. Then we release the hands to the ground. We step it back, plank, squeeze to the middle line, stay there. Press back, downward facing down. Right leg lifts, press through the hands, send the heel back. Step it all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. Get your foundation sturdy and then float up by lunge. Gently release your hands to the earth. Step it back. You've got a vinyasa if you want it. You've got child's pose, you've got down dog, lots of options. Stay connected to breath wherever choices you make. One more breath where you are.
Inhale, come forward into plank. We're gonna drop the left knee down. Spiral the left foot behind you so it's off of the mat. The right leg, the left knee, and the left hand are all in line with each other. And then peel that right arm up towards the sky. Really ground down and then choose to either stay there or let's flex that right foot and lift the leg. We're gonna do little pulses, bringing the pinky edge of the foot towards the ceiling. Nice and controlled and slow. Your gaze can be to the floor for a little more grounding or send it up to the ceiling for a little more challenge. Another breath. Beautiful. Then we're gonna bend the right knee and bring it toward the right elbow as we bend that elbow, squeeze them towards each other. They don't need to touch, it doesn't matter. And then stretch it out. Again, elbow to knee, squeeze. Maybe there's a tap, maybe not, doesn't matter. Stretch it out. Last one, bring it together, squeeze. And then stretch it out. Right foot comes to the floor. Right arm's gonna come up and over the head, creating lots of opening in that right side. Maybe it even reaches to the floor in front of the head, above the head. And then inhale, right arm lifts. We come back around, tabletop. Down dog or child's pose, whatever you need here. Take another two or three breaths. Your wrist needs some love. Find your child's pose or sit on your heels. Nice breath in, good breath out. Good. Wherever you are, let's all make our way to plank. Squeeze the middle line, taking another breath here. Gently drop the right knee to the floor. Right foot rotates off of the mat behind you as you find your modified side plank. Right hand, right knee, and left foot are all in line with each other, so check it out. And then left arm lifts up. Ground down through the left foot. Another breath. Let's all lift that left leg if you choose to. Flex the foot, toes are pointing forward, pinky edge of the foot is towards the ceiling, and we find little pulses. Good. Taking another couple breaths, couple pulses. Awesome. All right, pause there. We'll bend the knee, bend the elbow, squeeze them towards each other. Maybe you get a little tap, maybe not, doesn't really matter. Go in that direction. Two more, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. And last one, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Release the foot to the floor. Take that top arm, reach it up and over the head and maybe to the floor above the head. Create a length in the whole left side body, another breath. And then we mindfully rotate the hand to the floor, make your way back and press it back, either down dog or child's pose. Good. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Beautiful. Let's make our way downward facing dog if you're not there already. Left leg extends behind you. And bend the knee, stack the hips. Keep the shoulders square to the floor. Let the weight of that left foot open up the hips. Toes to the sky, square your hips and step that left leg all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. As you arrive, we drop the back knee to the earth, uncurl the toes, and if you have two blocks, you can use them here, but you don't need blocks necessarily. Find more length, and then we're gonna walk the hips back as we straighten that left leg out. And then do yourself a favor and try to straighten out the spine. Find length in the spine, tailbone reaches back, hips are squared. The left toes pointing up towards the ceiling, flexing that foot. And you might melt in a little bit, just breathe into those openings. 
Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, melts you in. Another breath wherever you are. Inhale, lift the heart, bend into that left knee, flatten that foot out, move your blocks if they're nearby, ground your hands, curl the back toe, lift the back knee. We're gonna root down through that right arm. You can even do it on a block that gives you a little more space. Squeeze thighs together, left arm is gonna reach behind you, a big windmill, open the heart, and then take that arm above the head, Scarlet back down. Two more just like that. So reach the arm behind you and up. Follow it with your eyes. And spiral back down. Last one. Reach it up. And spiral it back down. Move your block if you have it handy. And we'll step it back. Move through a vinyasa if you choose. Once you make your way into down dog, take a nice full breath in and out. Right leg extends behind you. Bend the knee, stack the hips, let the weight of that foot open you up. Square the shoulders to the earth. Another breath. Toes to the sky, square your hips. Let's step that right leg all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. Once you do arrive there, drop the back knee to the earth. Maybe you uncurl the back toes, maybe grab your blocks, maybe you fix your shirt. <laughs> Lots of that happening today, not the best shirt I wore today. Squeeze the thighs together, square off the hips. Right leg is straight, toes are pointing up towards the sky. Lengthen the spine, inhale, find that length. Relax the neck. If you're feeling tension in the neck, you're probably reaching with your chin. Let the heart do the reaching. The breath do the moving. Another good breath in and out. Inhale, let's lengthen out the spine, bend into the right knee, flat, and that foot out. Move your blocks aside. Curl the toe down through the hands, send it up, bend it back, plank, out of vinyasa if you want it. Nice big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Let's extend the left leg behind. Left knee to left elbow. Try to touch it. Squeeze, shoulders over wrists. Send it back. Left knee to right elbow. Squeeze, try to touch. Send it back. Left leg steps all the way forward. Help it forward if it needs it. Get yourself into that low lunge. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Bend the back leg. Root down through the left leg, right leg lifts. Let's drop the head to the heart. Maybe you tuck the chin. Press energy out that right heel. Keep the hips square. Take another breath. Either stay here or we'll do two tap downs. Left leg finds a little bend as the right toes tap down, and then lift back up. One more, left leg has a little teeny bend, right toes touch down, lift back up. And then we touch the right foot to meet where the left foot is, hanging out in your forward fold. Whoop. Ground down through the heels, falls right behind the big toe and the little toe. Another breath. 
Release your arms if you clasp them. Inhale, come up halfway. Roll the shoulders back, kind of lengthen the torso. Exhale, forward fold. Round down through the legs, bend those knees, fire up the glutes, reverse swan dive, take it all the way up. And hands to your heart. Take a moment here, feel the feet on the floor. Find your breath. Feel the air on your skin. Connect with the exhale. Get a big breath in and out. We'll bend in the knees, with the arms up, and exhale, so one dive forward fold. Round down through the hands, a little bend in the knees or a big bend. Right leg steps back as far as it'll go. Low lunge. The heel drops down, so the back foot's parallel to the back edge of the mat. Left hip scoops under, firing up that whole left hip and thigh. Ground down, right arm starts to lift and we cartwheel up, warrior two. Get yourself settled here. Shoulders out of the ears. You can always do palms up, bend those elbows, and the shoulders will drop right out. Brown down through the legs. Let's squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Get a little more action. Another breath. All right. Reverse it. Front palm floats to the ceiling. Back hand to the back thigh, low back or the front hip. Take another breath in and out, keep spiraling the heart up towards the ceiling. Back through warrior two, and we cartwheel down, back heel lifts. Step it back, plank. We've got vinyasa. We'll hold me in down dog. You can move through child's pose as well. Roll the shoulders, drop the head. Let the ears come between the biceps. So the chin tucks in a little bit. Other breath. All right. Please extend your right leg behind you. Right knee to right elbow, squeeze. And then send it back. Right knee to left elbow, try to tap it. Send it back. We step that leg all the way forward. Help it forward if it needs it. Squaring the hips. Take the hands forward a little bit, bend into the back knee. Send it up, standing L, try to square the hips, keep the right knee a little bit bent, drop the head and heart towards the right leg. Feel free to stay here or a little tap downs with the left foot. That leg stays straight, right knee bends. Good. And again. Last one. And then step the left foot to meet the right. And release into your forward fold, maybe clasp elbows. Grounding down through the legs. Tailbone reaches up towards the sky. Shake the head yes and no to let the neck release. By clasping the arms, you feel a little more length in the spine and side body. Start to release the arms. Bend into the knees, come up halfway, straight spine, find space, the length. And forward fold. Reverse swan dive. All the way up, come up slow. Hands to the heart. Take your time to ground. Keep it upside down a bit. Feel the feet to the earth. Big inhale. Big exhale. Another good breath here. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, so one dive forward, fold. Ground down through the hands, step back with the left leg, low lunge. Back heel drops down behind you. 
parallel to the back edge of the mat, right hip scoops under. And then we take that, whoops, I came up too fast. Take that left arm, reach it forward, and then reverse cartwheel all the way up into warrior two. Let's get yourself settled in here. You might take the feet a little wider. Might bend the elbows to get shoulders out of the ears. Really pull those thighs towards each other like you're pulling the edges of the mat to the center. Send some of that energy up and out the crown of the head. Let's flip the front palm, reverse it. Keep that right shoulder rolling open, the heart opening to the ceiling. Back shoulder dropping down. Another breath. Mindfully come back through your warrior two. Cartwheel all the way down. Back heel lifts, we step it back, go through your vinyasa. When you arrive, roll the shoulders out of the ears. Up the chin a little bit, back is nice and long. Your glance, your gaze should be back towards your knees. One more breath. Beautiful. Let's extend the left leg behind. Step it all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. While you're down here, you might place a block out in front of you, oops, in front of the mat, I should say, or your pile of books. Take that back heel, drop it down. Really ground down through the legs, squeeze thighs together, float. So don't push off with your hands, try to float up. By using your leg strength, your core strength, you can always use that front thigh. Back into warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Reach as far forward as you can. Triangle. Energy from fingertip to fingertip. If you like to use the block here, you can grab it and use that. You can use the back of your hand to the inside of the upper shin, wherever it lands for you to find the length from the torso. Reach fingertip to fingertip. Press down through the legs, squeeze thighs together. A little more space, a little more length. Other breath. Root down, lift up. Warrior two, bend into that front knee. Big inhale, big exhale. We're gonna reverse it one last time, little quick reverse. And then we're gonna come through the warrior two, float that left hand to the block, right leg floats up, we find our half moon. So your gaze should stay to the ground for grounding or challenge yourself by looking forward or up. Flex out that right foot. You might fall, but if you look back, you should see your toes. If you don't see your toes, they're probably too far behind you. Feel free to come out and come back in. Another breath here. If you want a little more challenge, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and start to bring them together like we did on the floor. Little squeeze, maybe you touch, maybe you don't. And then reach back into your half moon. Or you fall and you just constantly come back in. Wherever you are, one more breath. Uh, and then we're going to take that right arm down towards the floor, square your hips. Right leg meets the left. Bend both knees pretty generously, belly rests on the thighs, hands dangle below the shoulders, head releases. Ground down through the legs, find your glutes, keep those knees bent as you roll up slowly. Keep the knees bent. Head comes up last, and then the knees can straighten it. Roll the shoulders. Open the heart. Take up some space. Connect with your breath. Feel the feet on the earth in this moment, because that's all that matters. Another big inhale. Big exhale. Sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, clasp the hands at the low back. Palm to palm, shoulder blades squeeze together, elbows squeeze together, heart lifts, low tummy in, 
And then we maybe start to straighten the arms, but let's not try to lock those elbows. Keep the elbows squeezing in, shoulders squeezing in, heart lifts. Maybe the head lifts if that feels safe for you. For the breath. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep that good energy up. And exhale, forward fold. Tie it back with the right leg, step back with the left leg. You've got a vinyasa if you want it. Let's all press back into child's pose. As you soften into child's pose, you might choose to take the hands back towards your heels and let the shoulders around forward a little. Taking another good breath in and out. Good. Begin to make your way up into downward facing dog. Did you say something, Francie? Take a nice full breath in your down dog. Extend the right leg behind you. Take the right knee to the right elbow, squeeze and tap. Send it back. Right knee to left elbow, squeeze and tap. Send it back. Step that right leg forward, forward. Uh, not forward, forward, forward lunge. And then that back heel drops down behind you. Root down, cartwheel yourself up into your warrior two. Check in here. Check your points. Make sure your knee is floating towards your second toe. Press down through the outer edge of the back foot. Moving thighs together. The straight in the front leg. Reach as far forward as you can. Triangle. And length from armpit to hips. And space and length around the neck. Up, look down. Another breath. Inhale, start to lift yourself up, bend into that front knee, flip the palm, reverse it. Take breath here. And then we come back through warrior two. When we start to lean forward, you might scoop the back hip, back foot in a little, and the right hand comes to your block. You make your way slowly and mindfully into your half knee. Remember to keep the eyes down to ground. Flex the left foot. You might carefully glance back to make sure you see the toes. Another breath. Either stay here or if you want to play with bending the knee and the elbow and squeezing in. And then straightening, slow and mindful. And again. Slow and mindful. Probably tell I'm pretty shaky here today. Mindfully release that left hand to the floor, square the hips, left foot meets the right. Bend the knees, rest the belly on the chest, release the head. Keep those knees nice and bent as you roll up slowly. Keep those knees bent the whole way. Now keep your low back safe. Roll the shoulders when you arrive. Open the heart. Take a nice full breath in. And out. Another good inhale here. Feel the energy of your practice. Float the arms up. Exhale, through center, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
begin to ground down through the hands. You step back with the left leg, step back with the right leg. Let's all lower to the earth. Stretch the arms out from the shoulders, palms face down, and rest on your left cheek. Just take a nice big breath in, big breath out. We're gonna bend the right knee, bring it out to the side so the knee is as high as the hip or lower, not higher, so you might lower it, and then relax that foot to the ground. Let's take a moment in this earth hug. Feel your breath press against the earth. Feel the body settle into the ground. You might give the hips a little wiggle to push the right knee and shin further away from you, getting into the hips a little deeper. Either staying as you are, or if you have a, either really tight or a bad shoulder, take that left arm and bring it down a little bit. So you may not be able to see my left arm, I'll show you with my right arm. You bring it down any amount that feels right to you. And once we get into this, you can always change your mind. So we'll all take the right arm, bend the elbow, bring the hand underneath the right shoulder. Start to press through that right leg and we spiral over towards opening up that left shoulder. Remember that left shoulder can be shoulder height or lower. Let the head be supported either by the floor or a block or cushion. Don't let the neck strain. Press through the right fingertips, open up that left shoulder, take another couple breaths here. The right foot can stay in front or you can move it behind, come in deeper. You can even take that right arm up and behind you, bring it to the low back or potentially grab hold of the left hand. Another breath. Breathe into the opening on the left side of the heart. Let's reach the right arm, place the right fingertips on the floor in front of the face, very slowly, very gently, roll yourself back onto your belly. Let the arms rest wherever they're happiest. And just take a breath or two, wiggle the hips. Big inhale to the low back, big exhale. Oh. Let's come to the right cheek. Let the arms come wide. I'm not gonna lower my head and go there yet because you won't be able to hear me. So you're resting on the right cheek. Your arms are as wide as your shoulders and your left knee bends. And we bring it to the outside. Letting the knee as high as the hip or lower. And then shimmy the hips, pressing the knee and the shin further away from you. Just take a few moments to enjoy your earth hug. As you're ready, that right arm can stay where it is, either shoulder height or lower. So go ahead and move it to where you think might be best for you. Left elbow bends, bring that hand in in front of the face, and then slowly start to roll over onto your right side. The left leg can stay in front or behind. Breathe. Move to any variation that feels right to you. Gently making your way back onto your belly. When you arrive, give yourself a little wiggle. Stack your arms, rest your head. Take a nice big breath in. And big breath out.
Bring those hands right by your chest, shoulders in, or back rather, elbows in. Let's press back through tabletop. Curl the toes, lengthen downward facing dog. Still stretch it out, down dog, realign. Nice full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna bend the knees, look towards the front of the mat, walk or flip the feet forward. We're gonna come to sit. Plop. As I always like to say, plop asana. Let's release the arms forward. Um, grab hold of your block. Let's place that block between the knees or thighs. Squeeze in. Lower down one vertebra at a time. Nice and slow. You can always use your elbows and take the express route. Whatever works best for you. Once you get to the ground, let's bend those knees, feet to the floor. Take a nice big breath in, big breath out. Keeping the block between the knees, we're going to squeeze those thighs in to keep that block in place. And then start to root down through the feet. We'll move through a little bit of bridge. Press the hips up, just a moving bridge. Ground down through the arms, ground down through the shoulders. And then lower down one vertebra at a time. Keep moving through two or three more. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Next time your hips are on the earth, we'll all meet there. Take a big belly breath. Big releasing exhale. Your knees to your chest. If you want to move the block, feel free. A little roll from side to side. All right, take those arms out wide again. We'll come into a twist. So let the knees fall over to the right. If you want to use that block between the knees or underneath them, feel free. Let the shoulders roll out from underneath, letting them spread to the earth. Take a couple of breaths to let the body and the spine melt into the shape. A few breaths in and a few breaths out. Letting those exhales grow the length. Your next breath in, start to fire up the core, bring the legs back up through center. <clears throat> you might roll a little from side to side. When you feel ready, let the knees float over to the left. Take the arms wide from the shoulders. Give yourself support if you need it or want it. <clears throat> With every exhale, let that right shoulder melt heavy to the floor. Place the jaw and the facial muscles. Allowing another breath or two here. And 
next breath in, fire up the core, bring the legs back through center. Roll a little from side to thigh, massaging out the back body, realigning the spine. And then pause, take your hands around the left knee, let the right leg grow long, flex that foot, take a nice big breath in and out. Right knee comes in, let the left leg grow long, nice full breath in and out. Bring both knees in, we'll place the feet to the floor with bent knee. If you have your block handy, grab hold of the block on the lowest setting, we'll lift the hips, place the block underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a, a block, you can use a pillow or a blanket or nothing at all, it's fine as well. We'll just take a breath here, bend those knees. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can float the knees above the hips. Let the hands rest by your side. Maybe the feet float above the knees and the hips. This is about letting go. So if this is, takes a lot of core strength or hamstring strength, then maybe just do it with your knees bent or keep the feet on the floor. I know some of you really enjoy stretching the legs long with the heels to the earth. You can do that as well. Just make sure that your low back is game for that. Press energy out the heels. Wherever you choose to land, let's just take a few breaths there. Let the body soften, breathe deep into the belly. Feel the soft exhales. You're floating the feet above the hips. Let them float. It's like seaweed at the bottom of the ocean. They just dance and float and move as they feel needed. Breathing. Breathe deep into the belly, soft exhales. We'll stay for a couple more breaths. Letting your breath ground you. Begin to slowly make your way out of this. So if your legs are in the air, begin to gently bend the knees. If your legs are on the floor, gently bend the knees. And then as the feet, one at a time, reconnect with the earth. Feel the connection to the ground. Tune in to the connection between your feet and the earth. Very gently press the earth away, lift the hips up, move the block aside. Come out of this slowly, so one vertebra at a time, nice and mindful. And the hips land on the ground, take a nice big breath in and out. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Go ahead and let something come to your heart that you're grateful for in this moment. And really feel it in your heart. Feel the gratitude. Don't just think about it. Feel it. Might even bring a little smile to your face. When you feel complete, go ahead and release the legs long on the mat for Shavasana. Get yourself set up however feels good to you. Maybe something under the knees, relax shoulders away from the ears, taking those shoulder blades flat to the earth. Palms face up if that works in your body. Take a nice big breath in. And a big breath out. Allow the body to settle deeper into the earth.
Let the facial muscles melt. Back teeth part. Jaw surrenders. The whole front body melting. And the whole back body surrendering. Feel yourself fully supported here. Allowing the divine healing of your practice to integrate into your physical body, your emotional body, mental body, and spiritual body by simply being. Without changing anything, just bring awareness in. Notice the body, sensations of the body as it lays here in space. Notice the breath, how it's moving through you naturally. Make the choice to move into a more mindful breath pattern. Fuller inhale to the belly. Fuller exhale. With the inhale, expand the belly wide and bright like a balloon. And as you exhale, slow and soft. Let the inhales grow all the way down to fingers and toes as you invite a little movement back in. Turning wrists and ankles and eventually stretching the arms and the legs. And it feels like it's time. Begin to bend the knees, make your way over to one side. Whatever side calls to you, just use the bottom arm as a pillow for the head. As you arrive there, feel the support of Mother Earth. A moment to reconnect. If there was an intention you were working with, bring that in now. Acknowledge your willingness to take it with you from the practice as you continue to practice off of the mat out in the world. Please use the top arm to gently press yourself all the way up to a seated posture. Let the eyes remain closed or soft to the earth. And lengthen the spine, sitting up a little taller. The shoulders roll back. Spaciousness around the neck, with the crown floating up and the tailbone grounding down. Please bring the palms together in front of heart center. 
from this place, calm, cool, and collected. We all unite as one. And we'll close our practice with a cleansing breath. Big inhale. Big audible open mouth exhale. We bow down with gratitude for ourselves, each other, our community. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.